Imagine you could run your code without thinking about servers or any complicated setup. Welcome to AWS Lambda, where serverless computing makes this a reality. In this video, we will show you how Lambda can run your code automatically when something happens and AWS takes care of all the hard work. Whether you are creating a simple game or a complex app, discover how AWS Lambda makes coding super easy and exciting. Let's explore the world of effortless, scalable functions together. What is an API? An API or application program interface is like a bridge that allows different software applications to communicate. Think of it like a waiter taking your order in a restaurant and bringing your food from the kitchen. APIs make it possible for apps to request and exchange data efficiently. For example, when you use a weather app, it communicates with a weather service API to fetch data. Common examples include the Google Maps API which allows apps to display maps and location data and the Twitter API which lets applications interact with Twitter's functions like posting tweets or reading tweets. Gen AI APIs such as OpenAI's GPT-4 API allow developers to integrate advanced language understanding and generation capabilities into their applications. In cloud computing, APIs help manage resources like storage and virtual servers. Examples include the AWS S3 API, which allows for managing cloud storage, the Azure Compute API, which manages virtual machines, and the Google Cloud PubSub API, which handles messaging between different services and applications. What exactly are these cloud APIs? They are specialized tools that let you interact with cloud services, extending the basic concept of APIs to the vast world of cloud computing. Cloud APIs allows you to create, manage, and use resources like storage and servers in the cloud. They are crucial because they offer scalability, seamless integration, and automation, making it easy to build and manage powerful applications in the cloud environment. One of the leading providers of these cloud APIs is Amazon Web Services or AWS. As a top cloud service provider, AWS offers a wide range of services from storage to computing power. AWS APIs are particularly powerful because they allow developers to interact with these diverse services efficiently. By leveraging AWS APIs, developers can tap into the full potential of cloud computing. Now let's dive deeper and look at some key AWS APIs and see them in action. Now let's use our AWS Lambda. In my console, since I've already used Lambda, you can see that Lambda services is already here on my management console, right? If you don't find, you can just go on uh, this tab over here for search and you can just type Lambda here and you can see the service is there. You can just click on your Lambda service here. So you can see that my Lambda service uh, has opened and it says that Lambda service lets you run code without thinking about your servers. First thing we need to do is we need to create a function. So I will click on create a function here. I'm keeping the default settings which says author for your scratch and I'm trying to create a function name. I'm trying to give a function name here which is say uh, demo AWS Lambda, right? So here I am trying to create a runtime so I'll just click on Python 3.12. Runtime, I'm choosing Python 3.12 and keeping the permissions same and I'm just trying to create a function over here. So it will take a while. So you can see that my demo AWS Lambda function has been created now. So what's the next thing we need to do here is, so in my function code, I'm just trying to write my function here wherein I'm just trying to give an output called as hello from Lambda. This is what I want to be printed right so I've just added my uh, piece of code over here and then I will click on deploy you can see that successfully updated the function here okay, next thing we need to do is click on test configure test event and then I'm just leaving it to the default settings here and I'm clicking on save it's prompting me to give the event name so I gave the event name and I'm just clicking on save 
right so next thing i will do is test and then you can see that we have successfully updated our function and then you can see that the status code is 200 which is a success status and then the body has been displayed over here that is hello from lambda you have just experienced the simplicity and power of aws lambda where serverless computing allows you to focus purely on your code from creating and deploying a function to testing it aws lambda automates all the heavy lifting making development faster and more efficient with aws lambda you can scale effortlessly handle different workloads and pay only for the compute time you use it's perfect for everything from small tasks to complex applications. If you found this video helpful, please like, share and subscribe for more tutorials on AWS and other cloud services. Leave a comment below with any questions or topics you would like us to cover next. Thanks for watching and happy coding with AWS Lambda.